in today's video i will discuss about the interface between switch gear and plc or you can call it dcs or you can call it uh, remote remote interface so this is this left hand side this is switch gear this is inside switch gear panel and right hand side this is dcs or plc or the remote workstation okay so what what are the signals we need to interchange between uh, electrical switch gear panels and the dcs or the plc so first of all i will discuss about the di signal di is the digital input so these are the digital input signals which will be coming from the switch gear panels to this dcs or plc for indication purpose only digital input these are the di signal suppose epb operated emergency push button operated circuit breaker available circuit breaker available means circuit breaker available means circuit breaker uh, motor spring charged trip circuit healthy so all are the all are the uh, combination circuit breaker uh, in service position so this is the only one uh, combination this is the this is the uh, only one di will come here circuit breaker disturbance this consists of two signals trip circuit uh, unhealthy or breaker supply failure so circuit breaker disturbance another di this is local remote selector switch so this local uh, local remote selector switch this is located inside this switch gear so that feedback is also required to be displayed uh, in the dcs or plc this local operation will be this local remote selection switch is located inside the switch gear in the sw uh, switch gear that means uh, it will be flush mounted with the panel outside so this selection will be done in switch gear only so if this selection switch that position is uh, uh, selected in remote then uh, then only you can operate from remote that means from plc or dcs you can start or stop you can uh, in that case you can start or stop the breaker and if it is set uh, if it is selected uh, in local mode then remote operation is not possible this local mode is for the local maintenance purpose only okay next is coming breaker on status breaker off status this is breaker on feedback breaker off feedback so these are individual uh, di next electrical protection operated basically trip relay 86 lockout relay operated so all these signals are considered as di feedback di feedback signal to dcs or plc cabinet okay so for this purpose you can see we have considered here eight pair into one square mm uh, cable why we have considered this because the total number of di is uh, you can see here one two three four five six seven and this is the common one common so totally you considered eight pair one square mm cable connection for this di signals to be uh, uh, to be um, conveyed to the dcs um, plc cabinet okay now now coming to the do do signals okay do so these are digital output digital output signals this is for the circuit breaker um, start command or stop command suppose we want to operate from dcs or plc then we need to we need to give the start command or the stop command and these will be considered as do that means digital output these are not the feedback these are the start command so for this we need interposing relay k1 and k2 so k1 is for the start command this relay and this k2 is for the stop command so these are called interposing relays interposing relays can be located inside the switch gear or in the dcs of plc cabinet that is io cabinet racks 
So in this case, it is located in DCS or PLC. Here we have considered four core 1.5 square mm cable. Another one is the feedback. This is the current feedback uh, AI analog input. So so these were the digital inputs, and this is the analog input. So here current transducer, current transducer is uh, located uh, here inside the switch gear. Then 20, 4 to 20 milliampere DC signal, uh, wherever applicable, it will be transfer this signal, and it will be considered as analog input. This is analog signal. So this current feedback. This is for current feedback, and this current is being measured inside the switch gear panel, and it is transferred. The signal is transferred to the DCS or PLC cabinet for indication purpose. And for this, we have used two pair one square mm cable. So you can see this is the this is the typical PLC or DCS interface for the unidirectional uh, HD LT drive. This is circuit breaker operated. Why it is drive? Because we have here the start command and stop command. So only start command that means it will it will start uh, the motor will starts uh, rotating in any direction only. And if we stop uh, and if we issue the stop command from uh, here from the remote uh, box station, then the motor will the drive will stop. Okay. So as I already as I as I already discussed here. This is the PLC I/O count. Here total DO, total DO is one is start and another one is for stop. So total DO count is two. DI is total seven. AI, this is analog input. This is one. So these inputs uh, are required to um, to be provided uh, to uh, instrument this control and instrumentation um, department. to count the uh, plc or dcs io io cards so this input will will come uh, from from electrical department to control and instrumentation department for the for the proper selection of dcs or plc io rack or io card as i already explained this circuit breaker disturbance uh, which means control circuit failed or trip circuit unhealthy then this di uh, will be communicated with the uh, plc or dcs cabinet and circuit breaker available this consists of circuit breaker in service position breaker spin charged breaker trip circuit healthy and breaker switch in breaker selection switch in remote not in local so this was the this was the interconnection uh, plc or dcs inter uh, uh, plc or dcs interfacing scheme for unidirectional htlt drive which is circuit breaker operated